for making financial decisions. This is your business math course. And this is, we're going to be covering chapter 9 and 10 uh, and 12. We're going to we're gonna skip 11, okay, because it talks about premium insurance and it's already been talked about it in other chapters. So we're going to, um, to be able to finish as much, as many, as sorry, as many chapters as we can. So we're going to skip chapter 11. So now chapter 9, uh, uh, it talks about the sticker pricing of a new vehicle. So it has seven sections in it. Uh, after like the sticker price is the price that you see it on a, on a new car. So if you go and buy a new car, you see a sticker price on top of it, and top of, on, on the glass, for example, the wind, window, uh, the shield, uh, and then you're gonna see the the dealer's cost. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the dealer's cost of the new vehicle. So this is you're not gonna see definitely on the sticker price. Uh, the dealer has a cost. I mean, definitely the dealer has needs to buy a car and sell it for a profit. So he's not going to sell it for the same amount that he's, uh, you know, he's not going to buy it for the same amount that he's selling. Now, we have also to calculate the average uh, retail price and the wholesale of a, a vehicle. For example, if, 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 you, uh, if you buy one car different, then you buy more than one car at the same time. So there's a different uh, selling price for, a, for a one car or a wholesale car, okay? Using a table for annual, we're going to be talking about uh, something called the insurance vehicle insurance. An annual premium. Uh, this is a table that we, I'm going to be showing you later on in, in class, and it's how you calculate the actual, the final amount for the insurance. Insurance depends on your age, it depends on the uh, the years of experience of uh, driving and all that. So it makes uh, and and how, what kind of coverage you want. So chapter uh, nine talks about also the average cost of running a, of, of having a, a vehicle. You have you know the the Cost per mile. We have, uh, for example, you have something called uh, variable cost and fixed cost. So we need to know this. The total cost of leasing a car. Let's say you wanna you wanna rent a car or lease a car. Remember, there's a difference between renting and leasing. In a in a technical form, there's a difference. Thing. So leasing is usually for a longer period. Renting is only you're renting this a couple of days, for example. Leasing you could you could lease a car for years, right? For three five years, up to you. It depends on you. So now chapter ten. It talks about getting along. This is very, very important chapter. Like also, you probably were not going to cover all of it because, like I said, there's a lot of things in common. So we need to cut down on other things that is being repeated. So it, you won't be bored of it. So we're talking about a mortgage. You're buying a house. You need to take a loan for the house. How to find the payment for the house? Uh, there's a closing cost for a house. Usually, houses in the states they have a closing cost. It's not the only. You just, you, it's not like just getting the loan from a bank and you're just paying the bank. No, no. There's extra cost that you have to pay. And uh, then we need to find out your monthly payment, uh, the allocation of your monthly payment. Uh, is it go, all of it going to go toward your loan or or the, insure, the or the banks will take some of the expenses, which is, that's the truth. So the bank will take some of your payment, monthly payment as an expense or for on you, which is interest, uh, another word, interest. So the interest will be taken by, by the banks and the remaining amount goes toward your loan. So the last chapter uh, uh, that we're going to be covering here is chapter 12. Uh, we're talking about, uh, you know, uh, investment in a way. Certificate of deposit. You want to invest your money either in the bank by depositing or you want to do it as a stock investment or you want to, um, uh, I think we're going to be talk talking about uh, uh, other other kind of, uh, other kind of investments, uh, which is, uh, let me see, oh, the bond. I, I wasn't sure if it's here, but it is here, the bond investments. So we're going to be talking about bond investments. And also we're going to be talking about, let's say you bought uh, real estate and you want to rent rent it and you want to get some money out of it uh, as, as, a, as an income. So we're going to be talking about, this is an investment kind of chapter. Uh, those uh, three chapters are very interesting, honestly, you know, uh, getting a loan and uh, buying a new car. Uh, investing your money so this unit is very very interesting so that's why it's making financial decision that's the name of this unit and it's going to be a fun unit in my opinion okay guys talk to you later bye bye